Okay, we ever take a quick integral, we put the integral from zero to pi over two, natural log tan x dx. Okay, I find for how easy this is, it's actually pretty satisfying. So what I wanna do on this is actually just noticing these bounds. Let's use King's principle on this and let's go over that really quick. So for King's principle, what this tells us is when we have an integral with our bounds going from A to B, then for this integral, this principle will just allow us to rewrite this with the same bounds. But what we need to do is input the sum of the bounds. So we need to, to transform it. We're going to input the function of b plus a minus x. So in our case here, what we're going to do is add the bounds together, and we're going to be looking at f of pi over 2 minus x here. So we'll go ahead with this. Our bounds will stay the same. We're going from 0 to pi over 2, and then we'll have just natural log of tan pi over 2 minus x. But then for this right here, what you can do is use complementary angle formula. I usually like to remember it in terms of sines and cosines. So like what we have for this is for sine pi over 2 minus x, that's going to be just cosine x. And for cosine pi over 2 minus x, that's going to be just sine of x. And of course, because tangent is just sine over cosine, we can kind of think of it like this, think of it like this, ignore the equal signs here. And then for this, what we have is cosine x over sine x, or just cotangent of x. So using this, we can come back to our integral, still going from 0 to pi over 2, and now we have just natural log cotangent of x dx. And then from here, you see that what we have here is pretty similar to what we have here. Cotangent is just the reciprocal of tangent. We can put some labels on things. We can call our original integral i. So then this over here is also i. We can add this copy to this copy, and then down here, what we're going to have is just 2i. And so we can put this together and we can smash them together under one integral. So we're going to be going from 0 to pi over 2. And now we have natural log tan x plus natural log cotangent x. But now for this thing right here, you may see what's happening. What we can do with log properties is because we're adding, we can actually multiply these two things together. So putting this together, we have natural log tan x times cotangent x. So for this, you could write this in terms of sines and cosines. You could write it as reciprocals. Let's just do the sines and cosines. So if this is sine x times cosine x times cosine x over sine x, then what's going to happen? This is going to cancel here. This is going to cancel here. And we're just left with natural log of 1. But natural log of 1 is just 0. And so therefore, this whole thing is 0. We're integrating 0. And so for my final solution to this, we just get 0. Okay, there you have it, integral of natural log tan x. Thanks everyone for watching, have a good day.